today. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I hope, hope you've been having a good stream at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling. I've been tuning in and out throughout the day while I was working, so. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. How can I help you? So, uh, Nightlord Brain. An L Brain. Best thing ever. Um, goal is I want to hit 22 everything 60k stats and the best way to hit that 60k stat. Uh, no badge. You're going to troll me for this, but anyway. <laughs> uh, no ba no potable badge, no um, fa anything fancy like that. Uh, the Zerk is fake. Um, oh, I have a weird God. situation with this. It's only 17. Oh, it dropped last weekend, but I have a... Oh, where is it? Just a 17 Sweetwater. Oh, it's up here. So it, it it's better, but I guess I don't know if I should wait for either Dawn to 22 or wait for Spare to 22. If you... But, yeah. So that's my current dilemma, other than Copium, pa uh, Cot Copium Flames and just trying to get everything up um but... okay i mean it's pretty uh, simple if you want to hit 60k without a badge like yeah star your stuff I... fix your three lines get better flames um how how hard is it to hit 60 without badge is it you uh... have to go for single prime double prime you're gonna want some double primes for sure some double prime yeah. Are there... You're either uh, going to hit how... double farms or you're going to want fat flames. I mean, ideally both. Okay. You have three dark totems, which is, like, good. Like, that'll help you a lot. Right. But um, everybody I know that's, like, 60 without badge, like, they either have, like, crazy fat flames or they have double primes or both. Okay. But I'm not talking, like, all double primes, just, like, some. Like, a few. It's probably good enough. Okay. We'll go... I guess we'll do go over the gear and you can laugh at me. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, I'll let so, me laugh. Uh, most of this, well, a lot of the 22s, I've had like one or two booms throughout this entire process. So I mean, you're kind of lucky. Uh, yeah, yeah, very seated. Damn. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, Kerr. I don't know why I have four 22 rings, but I do for stat reflex. Uh, I mean, if you want hit to hit 60k, you're gonna need the four rings. So. Yeah. Also, you're never going to really be 60k because you always have Roar on, right? So. Right. Well, as close to it as possible, I guess. Yeah. So you could hit like 57 but... something. Mazurk dropping last week put me in this weird dilemma, and I kind of hate it at the same time. I like it. It's the second Zerk I got. First one boomed 17 to 18 first try. Mm hmm. So that's not fun. I do have to fix the secondary here. No, uh, it's the not 30 bad. IED, but Oh, it's IED? Yeah, it's I thought it was boss. My bad. 21 attack, 30 IED. Yeah, you don't need that. Um, I was waiting. Uh just 96 luck? Yeah, it's the like attack, nothing. I guess, but yeah. Like I said, helicopium flames. Like the flame I I hated flaming. Uh, the first couple times I did it, when I was trying to do the book, the eye patch, uh, I, I, it was miserable the entire time. I'd rather yeah. cube than flame, but... I mean, yeah, that's um, what you should do anyways, so... All of the... So I went from 22 CRA only to almost 22 everything other than Arcanes from the process of going 261 to 270. About 70% of that missile gained. Um, oh, you're lucky. You're crazy lucky. Yeah, I wanted, I was, and it was all off event. Every time I oh. tried to do a 5, 10, 15 on event, I wanted to quit the game. 100%, I raged so hard, I'd stopped playing for like a week. So I decided tw uh, 260, 270, I'm just going to spend that missile and get where I get and see how far I want to progress after that. Okay. Um, And like I said, two booms and everything's 22, so... <laughs> Yeah, you're very lucky. lucky, man. Um, for the arcanes, uh, I guess 121, and then everything else is 17, 118, I guess. But waiting for shining, I guess. Have you um, I have. BM? Go ahead. Have you started BM? Uh, 
technically I started Monday. We are two attempts in. Saw phase three for the first time yesterday at Four right. Life Entrance. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, first attempt on Monday was everybody died out going into P2. P2, oh, P1 was like seven minutes long. We didn't single burst it. Yikes. Um, okay. P2 to P3 entrance was 10 minutes long that time. So we're, we're learning. It's a, it's a process, but exciting. Yeah, I mean, at least you're doing it. That's what matters because, yeah, you're definitely strong enough to liberate. You just need yeah. more practice, of course. But, yeah, I've good thing you're doing I've been it. able to duo um, v v Hello C Gloom, uh, Solo Gloom, but duo v Hello because Erdanova is ass. And mm -hmm. I want a two-minute bind versus trying to dirty burst and wait for Nova. So mm -hmm. it, that sucks. Yeah. But uh, I guess the biggest question I have is after 22 Arcanes, should I focus more on pots? Should I correct my flames so they're at least not copium status? Like not perfect, but more realistic to where they should be for where I'm at now. How many keys you got also? Um, I have two keys plus 40, 400 flames, so 10 keys total. Uh, okay, we'll get back to that. All right, so to answer your question, um, can we go over all the flames again? Like. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my hand is shaking. <laughs> Wait, why are you shaking? You okay? I'm just nervous. No, nah, no, nah, chill, bro. It's chill, chill. Stage you fright. <laughs> you good, you good. Chill, chill, chill. It's okay. Um, All right, your book is your book is perfectly fine. You don't want to reflame. This could be a little better, but I would just keep it for now. I uh, was around when that, they did the compensation. So, but I didn't flame a lot beforehand. So a lot of the like the Golics are around roughly forty stat. Okay, your CRA uh, can be better. Like everything needs to good. be a lot better. I feel not not everything not everything uh yeah. yeah 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 okay so like for example your pants your pants you could get something very easily like better like 56 on pants is basically like nothing like okay for, so flames like that like your pants and your uh your cape for example like i would flame those with like your free boss flames and stuff because you okay. could get something better like really easily like you don't even have to aim for like the end game amount just Aim for something like decent because those are like really really low. Like you're missing a lot, so like, that's fine. But your other things like your Golux, for example, the, the that are, that's like between forty to fifty, like it's mm -hmm. fine. You could just keep it for now because, okay, aiming for higher on those is gonna be way too expensive. Um, do you go off of flame score or do you go off of raw stat? Assuming all stats nine. Uh, so 100%. I go off flame score, but I say all stat nine and a half. So like. What should I would aim for like 160 or higher on Arcane's endgame. Um, how about CRA then? If I'm CRA, so like... 160 Arcane's, and then how much for CRA? So CRA, Roughly. you could do, I do 68 and 6 minimum, which is about, um, uh, what's 68 and 6? It's about, dude, I can't think right now. Uh, six times nine. Sixty-eight 54, plus fifty-seven. So one twenty-ish. It's it's more like um one twenty-five on like CRA. One twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, and then for Golux, I aim for thirty-two and three at minimum, which is about like sixty-one. Okay. Or like sixty or more. For Writing like stuff like uh, book, like one sixty gear, like your mm -hmm. eye patch and your zerk, uh. 85 and 6 is actually, like, super good. Like, okay. I, I would even settle, like, on those items, like, 90 and 5. Okay. Which is about, like, 140. So, I, I still have some gains I can do other than Buck, I guess. Yeah, of if course. If it's no, 90 and 5. Legit, so like, all your flames mistakes. could be better. But, like, yeah. the... But there are ones that could be better, like, for way less than the others. Like, for example, your, your eye patch is, like pretty good like 75 and 5 same with your zerk like they're both pretty good and then to get better it would cost a lot of mesos like on average because it's you're not gonna get that much better but like your pants and your cape like those are like way less than what you want to aim for so there's still so much room for it to go up 
So it's not going to okay. cost that much. Okay. But in general, starring, like, you keep that way till the end. Not starring, uh, flames, you keep it way to the end. Even with my current flame set I have right now? Just yeah. As soon as I'm done with potentials, just start flaming? Yeah. But the thing okay. with pots is, like, pots are really, really expensive. Like, when I'm, I'm talking, like, when I'm talking done with pots, I'm talking, like, you finish your glove, too. Like, you want luck on the glove, which yeah, is, like, it, crazy thanks. expensive. Um, I ended up getting this within, I think it was like three bill as soon as I got that glove. So yeah, that's not I bad. haven't touched it since then. Yeah, Dex is secondary stat too, so it's not like useless. Yeah. Um, okay, so definitely go potentials after shining. Now at least I have a general outline for flames. Yeah. Um, one thing I hate, a, a lot of gambling... I, ha I hate this game because of the gambling. Every system in this game is gambling. Mm -hmm. But what scares me is... Like, I've, been, I've settled on these pots because I'm scared of losing that extra stat. Um, I don't know if it weighs heavily on... Like, if I lose, let's say, on this cape, it's just 96. If I lose that 100 stat, that gets affected by potential, right? So I lose, uh, yeah, okay, let's say, 400% from potentials. Sure. Is that that much of a detriment? Okay, so I'm going to make something very clear for you and it'll probably ease you. Uh, don't be afraid at all to lose damage in this game. It really doesn't matter. The only situation where it matters is if you're losing like... Like fucking like three pieces of gear at the same time. Like that's when it's like, okay, like this kind of really sucks. But losing yeah. like one gear at a time. If you play it, if you play it one at a time, it doesn't matter. Like, let's okay. say your cape boomed right now. You don't have a cape at all. Like, sure, you'll be we weaker. Like, let's say you just don't have a cape. You're not even wearing one at all. You'll be weaker, but it's not the end of the day. You'll st It's not, like, at the end of the day, like, you can't do it all of your bosses. Like, it's fine. Okay. So if you just play things one item at a time, you'll be completely fine. Don't be afraid to, like, uh, go back a little bit to make, like, to to run the chance of, like, making pro progress but also um when you're at this point in the game you want to like minimize that risk by having a lot of money because if you have a lot right. of money then like chances are you're gonna upgrade or you can recover from failure so right okay um i've been casual up to this point i so i do my five totems a week i just do totems whenever i have legion meso up yeah um and i if i get extra desire i'll kind of farm on the side uh that's not very often to be honest so on average about let's say 12 bill a week a little bit less than that is my income that's not bad you could definitely um, like reach end game with that money you just gotta save right i i stopped doing the off event stuff and i i saved up roughly almost 60 since then Hoping okay. to hit 200 by Shining. Um, I think somebody said it was like July 17th, so two months. Mm -hmm. um, if you that'll can put hit me... 200, you, you have a pretty good chance to full 20 doing. Assuming spares. So. Assuming spares. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of droplets, so I have two spares worth. I'll probably have three by then. Yeah. Um, so if I go past those, I'll end up probably trying to buy droplets, which isn't cheap either. Yeah. But I want to get piece. them done. Uh, the thing with arcanes is like, yeah, it is pretty hard to 22 with the low, low droplet spares. So yeah. you, you could just like, uh, roulette them, like make them go up one star at a time. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah. I've tried yeah. doing that and that got very frustrating. Um, yeah. Because it's like really slow so yeah but it is like in a way safer because it'll like guarantee you gains at least okay that's what i would try with you because you, you can't you don't have like a million droplets so right um yeah okay uh would you 
with my low drop account, do you recommend going 21 arcanes and then sitting until I get more? Definitely. Or definitely, I'll just hard push 22? Nah. I would even say 19. Just stay 19? Yeah. Because, okay. uh, dude, droplets are no joke. Like, if you boom it, it's just like, okay, like, that's a whole 108 droplets you gotta get back again. Right. Okay. I would just sit How on 19 many? for a while, then perfect your other gear, and then leave arcanes to the end. Okay. And the thing How is, like, uh, you, I don't know, your Zerk and your eye patch kind of cuck you a little bit. Like, like you said, they are nice, but, like, you know, you want full 22, so, like. Right. You definitely want backup. Like, I think um, you should still work on, like, the Lucid face, for example, to 22. You, uh, unless you, like, just get some sort of result out of your eye patch and stuff. Unless they hit 22, well, I don't know. The eye patch is already 22. It's just the Zerk that's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the Zerk, um, you either start and see what happens with it, or you just start for a backup. But if you start, let's say you, you get a backup, like, to 22, like the Lucid face. And mm -hmm. then you start your Zerk, then it goes to 22, and then it's like, okay, you kind of wasted your money. But, I don't know. I think it's so still it's... worth getting that 22 as the backup, because the chance for the Zerk to just go straight to 22 is, like, super low. Okay. So, definitely, as soon as Dawn drops, if I get that plus spares, then push that and just hope for Zerk at some point. But don't settle with it like I am now. Yeah. Okay. 17 is not the play. Like, ever. So. Right. I was... Because of the Dawn set, I was settling with the tattoo being 17. Oh, I wasn't going to push that yeah, whatsoever. That's, fine. that's but, fine. But Pitch Boss, like, you don't want them at 17. Like, you... Right. Uh, you need those things to be 22. Because that's the actual best in slot. If it's not 22, then there's no point. Because the other gear is just better. Okay. Also, what's your, like, fams and your Legion looking like? Ah, uh, go through Legion first, I guess, with a lag. Oh, that's good. Um, should hit 8.5 with the new Legion thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I'm trying to work on boss mules at the same time. I just have Night Lord and Kana. Uh, Night these Lord two sucks. suck. They're not statted up. But I like I I guess for boss mules, I play more for play style than I do how powerful they are. So yeah. Pathfinder is probably going to be a mistake, but I enjoy its bossing very much, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and Selty uh, inspired me. <laughs> I watched his... Uh, Out H of Lotus, everybody? Uh, yes, actually. Selty's like I... the weakest person in all of the club. <laughs> dude has hands, though. He does not have hands, dude. He literally uh, does. It's Pathfinder, bro. It's Pathfinder? Yeah, that's I watched him do so low. a... I watched him do a 28-minute H Lotus. <laughs> not a single death, not a single knockback, not a single fuck-up. Dude survived 28 minutes with, like, minimal stat, minimal gear, and just rocked that boss. <laughs> I was like, damn. I wanna, I, I'm inspired to be that. That's yeah. what I want to be. You know what's crazy is if he was a marksman, he would have done it in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, kind of crazy. But... Also, you know who else did a deathless 29 minute H Lotus solo? <laughs> yeah, but High Auto is broken. Nope, I did it on my Night Lord. Yup, 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 yup. And all brain just sitting in yep. dark sight the entire time. Nope, I was I didn't even do that. <laughs> True. And I forgot my marks half the time. <laughs> yeah. I do that from time to time. That's that's always fun. Um yeah, an L brain. <laughs> I did oh shit what was that a few weeks ago um, I do Lucid Will Lotus Damien carries I went through the entire point without realizing that my one of my pets died I lost out on Shadow Partner and Booster for all four <laughs> bosses trying to figure out damage. what the hell is going on with my damage <laughs> that, that, that was interesting I'm not doing that again <laughs> yeah that's literally all of your damage right there yeah um, oh, and then amps. I am a dirty abuser of their Good. early system. Good. Uh, Good. Very minor healing, but they're all bosses. Good. 
Thank God you um, abuse. You don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> I have a handful of IED fams. I have a handful of party member healing fans, but I generally run 90 boss. Good. Perfect. Um, That's all you need. How do you not notice Shadow Partner? Because I have no eyes. People say no hands. I don't have eyes. <laughs> but, yeah. That's fun. Uh, Legally blind, yes. So, how many nodes you got? Ah, uh, oh shit. I think I have close, almost 6k. Oh shit, I did okay. fully node the Pathfinder, and I fully noted the Adele. You should I make more boss heals. Well, I want to do Hero, Ho Young, um... What was the other one? There was one more boss. I wanted to do seven boss meals total. But at least Hero and Ho Young for sure. Okay, yeah, those are good. But I they oh Shadower. Um I main Shadower pre Big Bang. I hate it hate its current iteration. I wanna try it after Destiny. It's so but cool after Destiny. I, I hope so. I I really don't like the current iteration of it. I miss Assaulter. Assaulter was goat. And wait, we still have a salt there. Uh, I guess I haven't fifth dropped it, so oh, okay. <laughs> I really didn't like it pre fifth job. Oh, the, yeah, the assassinate missile ass. bomb weaving is weird too. Okay, okay, I see. But, um, yeah, no, I'm sure you'd like Shad, but yeah, you got nodes like you can fully node up like three characters with that amount, so that's good. But the most important thing is uh, go trade Helix. Like, go trade Helix on your mules because that shit takes, like, two months minimum to get the gear. So yeah, okay. You're going to want to do that ASAP. I don't even have Superior Golix on my Kana. <laughs> Yikes. It's still running uh, KMS uh, boss crap on it. Like, Yikes. it was purely just a farming mule, and then people are like, Max Domain, you can get carried and stuff, so I Max that Domain. That is true. Oh, shit, I'm a Lucker Dog. Sorry, I just, I just. <laughs> what happened? Hold on, I'm gonna show you on my stream. I just tossed some free flames on my Nightlord's pop mark. On my Nightlord, my Shad. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> Luckier than I am. <laughs> Flaming is so easy. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm done with this. That's cool. Ninety-six and sixty-eight and six. Sixty-eight down. and five attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done playing this game. I had 56 and 6 before, and I was going to settle. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to be number one Chad one day, so I can't settle. So now, <laughs> there you go. 68, 5, and 6, done. Oh, I hate flaming. I spent 10 bill on just trying to get usable flames on that book. Honestly, 10 bill is really good for that flame. Is it? Yeah. I, I was, well, I was, I don't have a lot of meso income, so to me, it felt very wasted. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to, like, put numbers in your head just to give you, like, an idea. So, like, you want to think of endgame flames the same as, like, 22 stars. Like, they're that expensive. Okay. Yeah, so, like, you're looking at, like, 10 to 20 bill, like, per item just to min-max the flame. Ugh. Like, just think about it. That's a lot of money, so... That's a lot of money. That's why that's you keep the flames... That's a lot of farming I don't want to do. Yeah, that's why you keep the flames all the way to the end, because, uh, you know, that 10 to 20 bill, like, will give you so much more damage elsewhere before flame, so... Okay. Only 20 bill? Yeah. Okay. So, I think I have a general gist. Uh, flames to pitch for, or shoot for, and then... I guess I'll just drop the Zurich unless I get spares. Or, I kind of... I'll try to 22 it on Shining, actually. And if it, if it breaks, it breaks again. And then I'll just hard force Dawn. Yeah. Um, like I said, I duo Vihila, Sea Gloom, so... Or capable of duoing them. I'm running with an old party of friend of mine, so it's 
Uh, it was a 17 minute duel with V Hella. So it's not pretty, bad. very feasible. Yeah, you're already strong enough to liberate. Okay, so here's another angle that you could play this game. It's up to you. So I know for a fact you're strong enough to liberate. You just need practice, right? And you got yeah. the Kerr ring. So it's like you can pretty much guarantee your bursts. Um, so since you're strong enough to liberate, you technically don't really need to fund your Night Lord anymore for a long time. Because... Yeah. Uh, like yeah you're gonna get stronger like yeah, let's say you f let's say you fund like crazy and you're like 59k stat and like you're still not liberated it's like your gameplay is still pretty much gonna be the same no matter what like it's that's just how it is and then once you get your genesis that that's when you can like make that big upgrade so you could technically just spend your time uh making more boss moves focusing on that and then like making like perfecting your income basically okay how how big is the boss meal meta going to be so so either two things are going to happen with the boss meal meta oh shit i dropped something um so when they announced it here like in our server all they said was they're going to change uh the pricing from 3x reg to 5x so they okay. did, they didn't specifically mention that it's going to be that adaptive pricing where it goes up or down 3% depending on how many times people clear the boss. So l let's say it doesn't have that adaptive pricing and it's just 5x across the board. Uh, the boss meal better is going to be insane because up to Lomian, it's just going to straight up be 5x and it's never going to go down. So like you could legit make like 1.5 per mule every week. And That's then, a lot. Okay. And then if it is adaptive pricing, um, it's still going to be a lot. Like you're still going to make like 1.5. But then after like, I don't know, like six months, it's going to go down to about like 4x. And then it's going to be like, you know, around like 1.1 per mule. Like every week it'll go down 3%. But the harder bosses that like, let's say your Nightler does, those prices are going to keep going up every week. So like... Let's say you soloed all the bosses on your Night Lord. You could legit make like 8 bill a week just off your Night Lord's bosses. Like something crazy like that. So Okay. Either way, like the boss meal meta is going to be like pretty big. Like it's going to be a pretty big um, contributor to everybody's income. Okay. I'll, I'll start push pushing boss meal once Kitchen dies then, I guess. I think you definitely should because you have a lot of nodes. So you could definitely do it. But the most important thing is just um, doing your dailies. Like Arcane Force dailies and Helix oh. on your mules. Yeah. I hate I hate Arcane dailies. They take so much time still. <laughs> yeah, but, they're the worst. And they're tedious. I hate uh, Spirit Savior. Spirit Savior is the biggest pain in my ass. Really? Spirit Savior? Like, I hated it. On Night Lord? It's not bad on Night Lord. It... It was anxiety inducing. Like I would freak out for like ten minutes beforehand and the entire duration of it. I got to the point where I am just I refused to do Spirit Saver. Every event that they gave arcane symbols, straight into uh Arcana. I, that's I yeah, so crazy. It was so bad. Yeah, that's so crazy because it's like Spirit Savior, if you get it down it legit only takes like two minutes. Like it's shorter than the other dailies. Yeah. It, it took a while for me to get it down, but it it was still a 50-50 chance if I fucked up or if I uh, got all the the 10k points or whatever it was. Yeah, okay. But I decided it wasn't worth it. It's not worth my health. That Dang that was girl. miserable. I'd rather boss than deal with Spirit Savior. <laughs> but, hey, as long as, you know, you finished your Max Arcane Force, so... And here's the other thing about boss mules. Like, all you really need is level 220. So, there you go. Yeah. Don't even need to do Spirit Savior. I was kind of... So, kind of wanting to stop them at 235 just to finish the arcane... The symbol set. Yeah. And free stat from there. But... that That's a lot of investment. Um, It is. That's true. Like... Getting them all the way to 235, it will take a while, but I mean, it's probably worth. 
Like, if you want to get your mules, like, a little bit stronger, they could do, like, uh, Elucid and Slime. You definitely want to be 235. What what stat do you need for Elucid and Slime? I guess I haven't ever attempted them. So, assuming max nodes, you probably do it around, like, 20-ish, 20 20-something 20 case stat. 20 case stat. Yeah. Okay. Um, I tried I tried on my Kana solo the first time, mm -hmm. which was like roughly 20k stat max nodes, max tri nodes at least, not bossing nodes, mm -hmm. other than the main. And that was miserable. That was maybe like a quarter of its health, in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean you're missing a lot of damage, so. Yeah. You're missing the gear set effects and like, probably WSE nodes. Like yeah, don't even bother. I'm I'm assuming After... like good gear and like max nodes, so. Yeah. Okay. In the arcane force, of course. But uh, yeah, two hundred bill for shining. You should be able to get most of your night lord done, if you want to focus on that, which is fine. Do you have any? Do you have any other access to more totems? Like you said, you do five a week. Um. I do have an alt account that I can push totems on. Yeah. Um, I was debating if I wanted to push them on my main or if I wanted to, and say, screw the meso or push them on boss meals. Um, I haven't decided yet that yet. Are you training your main Lumina? Uh, still, yeah. Okay. I want to get healing and boss damage fams. Yeah, that's good. A very narrow scope, but that and... Oh, I hate marks. Marks are f ass. Yeah, marks um, never one shot. And full and full damage. Uh, four re uh four stat rings. I ate, like three shot fire spirits and normal uh normal cernium. Mm -hmm. Um, and since I'm doing this primarily for the meso farm for shining, I'm making about one point eight one point nine bill on a good day at limina per totem. Yeah. So I'd rather farm there than do the whole EXP thing. So I, I'm i scared to go and progress into Cernium, Burning Cernium. Burning Cernium, my marks don't even do damage period, so trying to full map clear that is but. I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother doing the whole Grandis training. Not only do you just don't do damage, like as a Night Lord, like maybe if you were DB, I would recommend it, and then just rush levels and then you could spend your time on kana farming but i wouldn't recommend it because you could already like one try in lamina make really good rates so i would just stay there yeah you're already 270 like you're already at a good level only reason you want to be 275 is like you're like really trying to do a lot of damage in bm you already do enough damage uh or like you want to start doing saren but saren legit doesn't do anything for you like like the node sucks and like Chance of getting emblem is like super low, so. Yeah, I'd like to do Saren at some point, but it's not a huge rush. I didn't even think I was gonna do BM honestly. The thing about Saren is like, you need to liberate regardless, so. Yeah. Like it's still a ways away, and you need the sack force, so. It's one forty, right? So I still have a long ways to go. Yeah, I would say like one forty. Um. Yeah for like co comfortable chance of clearing like bare minimum sure you could do 120 but like you're barely going to be doing any damage at that point people joke and say i'm just a showdown meal for untouchable but i actually want to contribute i mean the thing is like night lord contributes so much in saren because it's like everybody um does burst burst strat in saren so like you know that's your time to shine, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I mentioned this earlier about your keys. Matt mentioned this in chat earlier. So have you have you thought of just like not like going super hard on BM this early because there's gonna be practice mode? Like you could save your materials. Um, so the party I'm in there's like one person experienced into P3. Everybody else, including myself, was fresh. And they're wanting to clear before end of May. Uh, so I kind of want to too, 
because it's the whole mentality of if you don't clear in May, you're a month behind. If you clear in May, you're a month ahead kind of thing. And uh -huh. the whole eight months of liberation is very overwhelming. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is overwhelming. It's... Like, it takes a while, but, I mean, we have... I don't, nothing you could really do about it. Right. We have today and tomorrow, then Tuesday through Saturday, and Tuesday, May 31st for those attempts. And then what I want to do is, hey, let's carve out three hours and let's literally hit practice mode until we give up kind of thing. Practice mode? Like in June? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's in June. May, June. Yeah. So like mid-June, right? Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I would keep practicing until you like run low on keys and then just save for practice mode. Yeah. There's a pretty good well, chance you guys can clear, but yeah. Um, okay I don't, don't do any Tenebris on my Kana, but I do the stupid dailies. I get five sparks a day from the dailies and then C10 on Night Lord, so. See if you could get carried like Gloom or something on your Kana. Bonus sparks. Yeah, I could gloom. try to do that. Um, That's only 14 though, right? Or yeah. normal gloom. Fourteen, yeah. I should try to push for two fifty fives, so I can uh, two fifty fives dark now, right? Yeah. So at least that's twenty eight. That's more. That's a little bit more. I think dark now gives sixteen, so you'll get thirty. Oh, thirty. Okay. Yeah. So I should really just push that. I haven't been doing exp coupons or exp uh, pots for that. Um. I mean, you could hit 255 pretty quick if you just got a farm. Like, if you just put in a few hours, yeah. like, a day, you'll hit 255. Um, so, I only reason I don't Kana farm consistently right now is I'm stretched very thin game-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, family and child puts me so I can only play at plus two. You have a kid? And then I, yeah. Damn, she's okay. th three years old, so Damn, I'm an old person. Old. Yeah. <laughs> but... So, I FF14 had a ultimate drop. Yep. I am putting in 38 hours a week into that from plus two until like four in the morning. Oh, God. And then and every time in between that is when I try to do my totems on Night Lord. If I have the energy, I try to Kana farm. But it's. Dude, that is crazy. I don't know how you could balance all that. Dude, did no Maple. sleep. Ditch Maple, I, Final Fantasy XIV <laughs> is a way better game. Uh, honestly, it was just to get to 270, and then I got invited to a Black Mage party. That fell through. Got invited to another one. I decided, you know what? I'm going to push for Black Mage at this point. It's front-loaded prog, and then once a month. Yeah. So, But yeah, I'm getting like four hours of sleep every day. Uh, Nine-hour work days. I get every other Friday off. But mm -hmm. 14 is my main game. Uh, so the 38 hours there, 36 hours, whatever, is very warranted. Two statics. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. It's fun for me. Yeah, that's but, good. Yeah, Maple's a side game, but I want to <laughs> prog in it too at the same time. Yeah. Uh, the addiction is real. Yeah, definitely going to have to come to terms with slow progression in Maple. Like, no <laughs> way around it. Because Maple's not one of those games that you could, like, second main and, like, progress fast. Like, it's just going to be slow, no matter what. Yeah. So... It'd be, it'd be like that. Uh, that's generally how I played Maple, just during downtime between content lulls and 14. Mm -hmm. So uh, I never did Hard Lucid, Hard Will until I hit 250. I was like 20K, 28k stat around then. Um, first party that I did was Normal Lucid, and that was a struggle. That same party I now effectively carry in Vihilla. But yeah. that's more of just hey, we're a friend group. We do stuff together since then, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I never really bossed in this game until I wanted Lucid Soul for my Kana to Kana farm. Um, I never did see Tenny until about four weeks ago. I did Normal Gloom, uh, last anniversary event, and then I dropped it, just so I can cap out on the stupid boss points. 
Mm -hmm. Um, but four weeks ago I hired, attempted to do Vihala Sea Gloom and we've been progging, took us about two weeks to prog that to consistent clears. Um, and I had a very generous Kana friend that would practice with me for two hours on Vihila for like three days. Nice. Um, bod review and say how much of a dumbass I am. So I'm very grateful for her for that. Yeah. But. I, I going from no bosses to now I can solo just about everything below black mage. I can solo everything below back black mage. It that for me was very rewarding. I want to get this character quote unquote finished, sixty K stat, twenty two everything. That's just mm -hmm. and then I can be casual after that, but I don't know how feasible that is. It's feasible, until... it's just gonna be slow. Like there's no yeah. way around it. It's just gonna be really slow. Like you, like it. the The progression in this game is hella exponential. Like everything yeah. you've done so far, if you did it again, like you're not gonna hit twenty two, full twenty two, everything, and all your gear is done. Like it's like, the time just the investment just it it just requires more and more and more and more. Like you can finish all your stars, then you have to finish all your pots, and all your pots is like, arguably even harder <laughs> than all your stars, and then you have to finish all of your flames. It's like, bro, it's super hard absolute madness yeah. uh, what's so what's the average cost of one prime uh three line stat well it depends uh, what on the is item. that like 33 30 yeah so it depends on the item it's either gonna be 33 or 36 and like some items are cheaper than others for example like heart is like super cheap yeah my heart's ass i think yeah. my heart's like 27 yeah and then like another example is like top is like super expensive so it just depends it could be anywhere from like 10 build to like 100. Okay. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but I want it. I need it, so I'll do it. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to handle meso farming after 275. I hate Kana farming. It feels miserable. I mean, you could play another class that mobs but... well. For example, Shad mobs well. You could play that, make some drop meso gear, then as you train it, you make really good rates, so could do that what's isn't shadower very heavy on investment like night lord is it's like to night get lord. meso yeah. to drop mm -hmm. or to one shot yeah it's like night lord so you could do another class for example uh hayato hayato will one shot with like very low funding because the gear all hits like super hard and you can make crazy rates on hayato so like that's just one example did they fix all the uh, visual glitches and memory leaks with Hayato? They with did. With the 64-bit? Yep, they did. Okay. I'll try that then. I really hated Hayato going from 1 to 200. Oh, yeah. But I hear one it's so much better. Yeah, 1 to 200 is the is one of the worst in the whole game, just in general. But uh, post-200, it's completely different. Like, the whole class is the fifth job skills, and it's, like, super good. Okay. Okay, so definitely boss meals then. Um, how how is Hayato as a boss meal? Is it does it require a lot of funding? Mm -mm. Is it, it something that I it can? It doesn't. Hayato requires a lot of nodes, but you could like go budget on the nodes too and make it work. But the only thing that really sucks about Hayato is, uh, do you know how Phantom Blade works on the Hayato or no? Uh, I don't know anything about Hayato, so. Okay, okay. So Hayato has a fifth job skill called Phantom Blade, right? And okay. Um, that skill is like the core of the whole class because it gives you final damage. And you know, with final damage, all your other skills become really strong. But with that with that uh, skill Phantom Blade, it's, it's a skill that you have to constantly upkeep uh, every 34 seconds. So you have to hit a target with it every 34 seconds or you lose all of your stacks, meaning you lose like all of your damage. So, Jeez. Okay. so the reason why it can suck as a boss mule is like, if you finish off a boss, and let's say there's like 10 seconds left of Phantom Blade, you got to rush to the next boss to stack your Phantom Blade again, or, or you'll lose your damage. Like, right. So you just got to be careful with that. But other than that, like, it's super good. Like, it hits super hard, and damage is very consistent and high. So. Okay. And the mobbing is one of the easiest in the whole game. Because all of your skills are like full map attacks, short cooldown. That'll be nice. I really detested so nightlord training is very brain dead yeah. i can afk left afk right mm -hmm. and then do a loot cycle 
Um, managing cooldowns will be a learning process for me. I didn't like it when I was trying to um, do a handful of classes. I think Arc was one of them I detested the most. But the whole non, uh, no damage phase and then damage phase for training was absolute butt. Arc? But it's definitely worth a look into for Hayato. Wait, Arc like Spectre and non Spectre? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, kinda I sucks. hated those transition phases. The. The Yeti from the Yeti Pink Bean event was similar to that, where you did very oh, yeah. little damage, and then you did full map attacks and everything. Yeah, That was very annoying. Yeah, I agree. I I'm not it. a fan of that uh, play style either. Yeah. But, okay. Uh... General ideas. I don't think I have any other questions, at least, though. So. Um, trying to think. I mean, at least your legion's done, so there's that. Your fams are done, so you don't have to really worry about those two systems. Uh, for your night lord, yeah, it's just it's straight up just saving money. Keep doing your dailies, for spares. Uh, mm -hmm. I would go for the twenty-two star face besides your zerk, just in case. And then even if your zerk does hit twenty-two, at least you'll have a twenty-two star drop gear. Which is good on Night Lord because you need damage for marks. Right. And then, um, yeah, finish your stars. Go for go for 19 on the Arcanes first. Well, no, okay. get everything to 22 and then your Arcanes to 19. Like the other things first and then Arcanes to 19. Uh, when is Dawn set coming out? Is that on Destiny Drop? Yeah, I believe so. Um, and then you'll you'll likely get one every week, just like the Slime Ring the same drop rate i believe okay that that's easier to work with then but okay thank you uh, Cat, for the second month I so it, so with no that answers everything okay Answered my own question there. You got your roar four, so you don't have to worry about Oz either, which is nice. I kind of want to get a weapon jump. Uh, also, just to say I'm quote unquote completed with Oz, period, in case I ever want to drop change. But mm, so I the thing sitting... about job changing is you got to make a decision now because you're running BM and like you got to think about what you want to choose like soon. Like, are you going to stay Night Lord um, forever or or what? Like, have you tried the other classes DB and Chad right now? Uh, not as a serious bossing class. OK, just more of a I like their play style training at least. Yeah, so I mean, it just depends who you ask. I feel like a lot of people are going to tell you to stay Night Lord because Night Lord is strong. And it is strong. It is a very powerful, like, very strong class. And it is very, like, right. wanted in parties. But it just depends on, like, what your kind of play style is. Because if you just want to burst, then Night Lord is the class for you. And the Jenny iframe is, like, super good for Night Lord. Like, out of all the three classes... um. Night Lord benefits the most from the Jenny iframe for sure. Because, right. you, you know, you guarantee your burst off. It has no other iframe if you're not including Kerr. So there's that. But yeah, it's up to you. There's arguments for both. For me personally, like I tried all three. Like, I don't, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know, but like I also had a Night Lord for the, the longest time I played Night Lord. And recently <laughs> I swapped it to Shad because I realized like, I don't really like Night Lord that much. I don't like the whole uh, three minute cycle. I don't, I don't like playing like that, so it's up to you. The three, three minute cycle is very frustrating, especially when people, uh, when I was learning Lucid Will, they would do two minute binds. Um, oh yeah, that's even worse. So I would, before they changed throw blasting to a three minute cooldown, mm -hmm. I would throw blasting every bind and then full burst every other bind. And that, that's, that was very frustrating, honestly. 
Um, and then after that three minute change, then I was just catching a burst every other bind, and I felt like I was losing a lot of damage as a burst class for what they were doing with two minute binds. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are. It's true. So the thing about Nightmare um, is you you excel a lot if you're in a three minute party. If you're in a two minute party, it kind of sucks. So yeah. And uh, the other thing I realized with Nightlord is I don't feel like Nightlord solo play is. This is just me personally because a lot of people I know argue like not argue but disagree with me, but I feel like Nightlord solo play isn't as rewarding as the other ones, because of the whole like, three minute thing. Like yeah, you can get off your burst sure, but then, you know the off burst optimization is really sleeper, and it and is. uh. And especially when you're changing phases, like Damien as an example, um, you could burst down one, like you just burst down P1, 100 to zero, and then start a P2, like you're just doing nothing until your burst is up again. And then even when you do burst it again, you gotta wait to swap to drop, which granted isn't gonna be a problem anymore because of like lost rooms, but I just really don't like having to wait for burst to kill a boss. I would rather just be able to just I can attack it the whole time, and it will die. Right. Um, for hard Damien, I was able to almost phase it within a single burst, but then I would spend three minutes trying to get that extra chunk of HP that I missed. Yeah, so that that's was very like... frustrating. And then as soon yeah. as you go into P two, you burst, and then either your throw blasting damage is delayed just enough where it kills the boss. Because you're trying to hit that uh, threshold, mm -hmm. so you can kill it off burst, and then you have to swap at the end tail end of your burst. Felt really bad too. I've done that so many times. Yeah. So the so the thing with Nightlord gameplay, and like this is I learned this coming from like a one of the strongest snipers in the whole game. Like he used to tell me that uh, it's a very like staircase progression system. It's not linear like a DPS class. Like DPS class, for example, as your gear gets stronger your boss clear time will get shorter. Like it directly affects your boss clear time mm -hmm. because your damage is consistent and it will be, if it goes up, that means like the boss gets killed faster. But the thing with Night Lord is it's since you're so dependent on your burst, um, it's all about how many bursts can you kill a boss? Is this boss gonna take one burst, two bursts, three bursts, four bursts? And then to reduce, to reduce uh, a boss's clear time from like, let's say three bursts to two bursts, you need a lot of funding to cut down an entire burst. So like right. the difference from like a 50k night lord to like a 55k night lord, the gear is pretty big difference, but the actual bossing is the same. Like they're still going to two burst a boss, both of them. So right. That's what I realized with night lord that was like, wow, this class fucking sucks. Like oh, it's all about uh, like meeting thresholds on night lord just to like reduce a burst. Yeah. I try playing Night Lord as a more of a DPM class than a DPS burst, which probably isn't the best thing to do. But, and then trying to do the whole ring swapping. I was like very excited that, hey, force that ring. I can ring swap as soon as Roar is done. Nah. And see if I can get that extra little bit to nah. maybe push that threshold, but it doesn't do shit. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Don't even think about it. <laughs> like legit, dude. Okay, so do you know how phase four of Black Mage works? Have you ever seen it, or do you understand what it is? Uh, I've watched a handful of times, but I haven't been able to experience it. Okay, so you know how Black Mage... Um, okay, so in Black Mage, every time Black Mage does a full map attack, whether it's P2, P3, or P4, like a full mm -hmm. one, one shot full map attack, it always gains a shield, like at the end of it. Right. And the shield, like... Um, you know, obviously you need to break the shield to real to deal damage to its health bar. And the most annoying shield is P4 because the shield is every 30 seconds in P4, whereas in P2 and, and P3, it's every one minute. So it effectively makes P4's HP bar a lot higher because it shields more often. And okay. um, Night Lord, no matter how strong you are, you can't break that shield off burst. And it's the most frustrating <laughs> thing. Like, no matter how strong you are, you can't. Like, it's impossible. So, like that feeling just sucks like you're just you're just really useless off burst like you just can't yeah. do anything and if you can't break the shield off burst in p4 why are you even trying yeah, at that point you can't even there's no point even attacking the boss just wait for your burst so i don't That's know I feel it's, so, it's so depressing like when you see night lords in p4 like 
they legit just can't do anything until burst like it's just survival until burst and that's it and yeah i don't know i just don't like that play style so you know i'm obviously biased because i like the dps play style but if the, if that's something that you can see yourself not enjoying in the long term like you still have every opportunity to swap to shad and the reason i say shad not be db is because db sucks and shad is better especially post destiny it's like super good post destiny so well we'll see um i'm still a fan of pre-big bang shad so if it if it's better if i enjoy the play style i might swap over but for now i think i will probably stay night lord I do want to try a solo BM attempt at some point in my life mm. before I die, but that's a ways away. I think that would be exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. It is fun. Soloing like your first BM solo, like that is a big accomplishment. But you know, it is a ways away. You need to be quite a bit stronger. Yeah, especially as an iframeless class. I can't. I I am I'm struggling already. Whenever he. Uh, I call it BMing blowing his load, but when he does literally everything all at once in P2, mm -hmm. I always die and uh, HP death and curse death there. I'm getting to the point where I would rather just cur that entire thing and just sit there and cry. Um, I've tried, I've tried assortment of stuff, uh, walking the chains and then do, getting into the little safe spot for the meatball, and then doing the rollings, and it's just it, yeah. I mean, you I, have dark I'm very sight. frustrated with it. <laughs> I mean, you, um, you have dark sight. Like, you could just ignore the purple and the white and then just jump over everything. Literally, just go to dark sight and just jump around and you'll be fine. The only thing the, that could hit you in dark sight is the pillars and that's it. The issue I had with it, trying to jump over the rollings with dark sight, is you have to almost, I guess time so you can get in between them if there's multiple sets and mm -hmm. you can't shadow web in dark sight unless you're in shadow walker yeah you can so you can't get that extra height you can't get that extra distance so it um one i have like two mentors that drill me for a couple hours after every night and they're like just stay out of dark sight will it beforehand and just literally fling for yourself from one side of the map to the other yeah, that's one way to do it. So that that's one attempt I want to try. I haven't been able to do it, or I haven't been able to try it today. We have a run in about an hour. But yeah, that 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 entire blow, blowing his load portion is frustrating for me. Yeah, but you can also just pop the balls as they're coming down, the purple balls, in dark sight. Like if you position yourself toward, towards the left, like you know how they're coming at an, at an angle towards the left? Mm -hmm. Like... If you're in dark side, you could just jump into them and completely like stop them from even existing, and then you don't have to deal with the rolling at all. Okay, I haven't tried that yet. I just hard push to the right. Like, I was told I was a dumbass them. playing on dumbass playing on the left side of P two. Dude, the issue is they that don't have they don't times. have an L brain. They <laughs> don't have an L brain. Like an L brain legit is when you're in dark side, you play your own little mini game. You just catch as many things you can as you can with your head. And that, that's the same thing with BM. Like, legit Night Lords do that. If you watch Night Lords, like, solo BM, you will see them go in Dark Sight and catch the purple balls. Like, so you don't have to deal with the rolling. It's legit, like, a tech. Okay. So you, you could consider that. But what, what your friends uh, told you, like, yeah, that is one way to deal with it. You, you Hero's Will, because Hero's Will is a cursed iframe. That's what you want to think of it like. So, mm-hmm you could hear, hear as well and jump over everything, so. Okay. I'll definitely, I want to try the well thing first, but because I did get caught on the left side with dark sight down on rollings dropping, uh, so a little, little afraid of that, but if I do get caught on the left side, it's definitely something I'll try again. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, as long as you keep moving around. And, um, okay, so I'm going to keep it, like, 100 with you. Uh, don't even bother attacking the boss off burst. Like, legit. Don't even bother. Just focus on surviving. Because, first of all, you're 270, so you have damage reduction. Second of yeah. all, your gear isn't, like, crazy endgame. So it's not like your DPS is, like, it matters. Like, only focus on your burst. 
Like, that's all you have to do. They'll drill you to, like, they'll probably drill you and be like, oh, at least try to, like, contribute a little. But they don't, they don't have an L brain. They really don't know that you do zero damage off burst and you have low levels. So you're even more reduced. So right. I would just primarily focus on your burst and then off burst, just survive. Like, legit, just survive. Stay in dark sight. Like, you can legit just stay in dark sight. I hate that mentality. That I, mentality drives me insane. Yeah, I hate honestly. I hate the mentality too, but it's the truth. Like it's literally <laughs> the truth on Night Lord. Like you you're not strong enough to the point where you're like you're like P Dimensions or J Horn where it's just like even your off burst is like con like consider it. But like I don't know, like I feel like because I'm telling you this because you're still learning the boss. That's why. If you were like, I don't know, yeah. twenty runs deep into the boss, like okay, then you should, like, you know, you shouldn't, like, play, like, the pussy strat. But since you're learning, like, survival is more important. This is, like, bossing 101. You learn, you know this in Final Fantasy as well. Like, you learn the boss mechanics and surviving first, then you optimize the, the damage, so. Yeah. It's the same thing in Maple. I really just need to break that DPM mentality. 100%. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a bad mentality, but it's just unfortunate that Night Lord, like, you can't, you can't, like, take advantage of that DPM mentality of Night Lord as much as any other class. Like, it's the worst class for DPM mentality. Yeah. What do you mean in Final Fantasy? Uh, Bard. <laughs> Uh -huh. I play physical ranged. I hate machinist. Machinist is ass. And I hate dancer. Dancer is just budget bard. 100%. Nice. So I don't play Final Fantasy myself, but I used to know someone who was like fucking pro at that game. They would like it, it's very fun. Um, so progging a new savage fight, there's usually between four to five fights, depending on if there's a door boss or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say it takes you about three hours per fight to prog it. Um, it'll take you with a static, let's say two weeks to prog everything if the static is above average. Mm -hmm. And for reclears, it literally takes an hour. You, I go in on Tuesday at reset, I clear for an hour, and then I play other games for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. um, for Ultimate, the content that just dropped, you're looking at... 80 to 100 hours for a above average group and then like 140 plus for a new group from my experience Damn. and we're like 30 hours in at three weeks we do nine hours a week in group one and like uh yeah the other group's the 4 a.m group but it's the mechanics are increment based so it's just because you're five minutes into the fight, you're actually like mechanic seven into it out of 17 that you have to learn. Mm. And it's very fun. It's very rewarding. Yeah. Yeah, no, it but... definitely is. I, uh, yeah, I know some people who play. They say it's the same thing. That game's also hard. So like, dude, just think of like your ego. Like if you're playing Final Fantasy, like Maple's just a kid's game. Like it's not even hard. <laughs> so it, it was my kid's game. <laughs> I grew up since beta playing this. Are you going to make your so, kid play Maple? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> she, she'll she sit in my lap when I do totems, and she'll sit there and she'll watch me. And, say, and she's like, Daddy's working? I'm like, yeah, Daddy's working. Yep. And she'll sit there and she'll watch. We'll have Netflix on the second screen, and she'll just, yeah, she'll cuddle me and just chill the entire time. I love it. It's the best thing ever. It's okay. You can slowly teach her to farm for you. <laughs> She's going to be my Kana farmer. Yep. Instead of like chores or whatever, just make her like farm. <laughs> That's it. Here, I'll take out the trash and do your dishes for you. You Kana farm for me. Yep. I don't know what's worse, to be honest. <laughs> True. This game is shit. <laughs> it's addicting but it's shit i hate Dude, i hate this game get off night lord that's it i'm not gonna sugarcoat get off night lord the class sucks. <laughs> like that's it dude i'm just telling it's an order get off night lord dude that class fucking is just dog shit. It. it's a depressive class i'm telling you every end game night lord i know is depressed they're all depressed or they don't want to acknowledge that they're depressed i'm telling you they are so i love the class i hate the off burst i hate the progression system 
Dude, then how do you love the class? That's like the whole <laughs> thing. That's like the whole game. Because so nothing's more satisfying than holding down quad throw and watching the boss's HP mark melt from full HP to like a third. You, like there's no mechanic behind your class, but sitting there and AFK pushing quad throw, it's fun. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you the novelty wears off. I'm telling you it does. Like uh, it's fun for now, but uh, trust me, bro. Like this is one of those situations where it's like there's someone like more experienced and wise than you telling you something that's gonna happen in the future and you just don't believe them. And I'm like, I'm telling you, like the novelty's gonna wear off. Oh, well, okay. Hear me out for this. You you say NL brain, I say yeah. iframe brain. Try what? most people that play this game. Try playing it without you. Uh, try doing bosses without using a single iframe. That shit's hard. Learning bosses without a oh shit iframe has I feel like made me a better player than most uh, party members I've played with. Yeah, but you also have dark yeah, side. They're saying don't dark sight. I don't AFK yeah, in dark sight yeah, either. I play as a DPM side. class on yeah, a Yeah, but burst. dark sight is still like an iframe. Like it's still an oh shit button. Like it's still like yeah, only for like meteor mechanics. You're Dude, still... that's a big deal. <laughs> that's a big deal. Legit, like, that's a big deal. You could completely Dude, sh never use Shadow Walker again for the rest of your life. Never use Shadow yeah, Walker. Yeah, then then tell me what happens. Exactly, bro. Dark sight's <laughs> OP in black mates. It's OP in, it's OP in Lotus, Dark Melt, it's OP in Lotus, it's OP in uh, fucking everything. <laughs> I, it's OP I in Gloom? Oh my god, in Gloom, bro? Uh, yeah, I'll give you Gloom. Gloom, Lotus, and Black Mage. I, I do normal Dark Nail. I clear it in like a burst and a half, so I don't... I Yeah, I've never tried Chaos, but... <laughs> Dude, this guy really it's... has some serious NL brain. You know, yes. Like, really, like, some serious NL, like, syndrome here. Like, try doing it without an iframe. Bro, you have dark Do sight. <laughs> and you use the curring. What are you talking about? Uh, I Honestly, I got the curring about a week ago. I'm still not used to using it. <laughs> like, the only time I found a good point to use the curring is, well, phase two, test one. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> That bullshit with last resort and having no way to heal. Just don't use I hate last it. resort. Just don't use last resort. There goes 40% final damage. You're right. Dude, <laughs> you don't need it. I guarantee you could still burst the boss without last resort. Oh, absolutely. But I want that big dick damage. Oh, dude, what's the point? You have to, Your damage gets wasted on the, on the phase anyways. <laughs> right? Like, it doesn't matter. Dude, I'm telling you, Night Lord is not for you. You think it is, but it's not. You're gonna then you're gonna regret it once you get your Genesis Claw. You're like fuck. And I have to drop it and start all over again. Getting getting Genesis weapon. Uh, so I have perma iframe for the entirety of my burst, and then just oh shit, curring sounds very fun. Not Dude. gonna lie. Oh my god. Let me just AFK the boss. Dude, go take go to fun. the bathroom, take a piss, come back, and the boss is dead. And then be like, oh shit. Well, I got cur for those stupid situations i get myself in perfect let's do it <laughs> dude it's not fun i'm telling you it's not fun <laughs> like those 20 seconds it's not worth it. it you know what it's like it's like you're a fucking drug addict like those 20 seconds of like the heroin hit sure it hits but like dude after that you're just depressed just depressed <laughs> straight up depressed yeah you're just depressed and you want to like despawn so i don't get banned let's just say despawn <laughs> but I'm telling you, bro. It's doesn't. It's not worth it. You need something more engaging, like Shadower. You're always weaving the whole time. Like you're always thinking. Your mind's always stimulated. Well, let's hope it's better. Like I said, I didn't like. I don't like the current iteration of Night uh, Shadower, but. But you only played it to <laughs> 200. How can you even know what it's like? Ah. Uh... <laughs> True. Exactly, true. Bro, I exactly. haven't tried CRA with you it. You don't true. even know yet. You only played it to two hundred. <laughs> Just so I watch uh, Double City play it. It looks fun to a point, but putting in two hundred percent or like three hundred percent more effort <laughs> to be able to maintain what I have to do just to AFK hold down quad throw seems infuriating. But yeah, but is <laughs> is is uh is bursting down Damien P1 and then waiting for burst for P2 
and then holding off for your burst as, at the end of P2 so you could swap and then waiting for your burst again to kill it, not infuriating. Oh, it is. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. Oh my. I agree. God. Why do I hear a child crying? That's not mine. That's Dude! Just... This is why I hate opening the window. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's at the in-laws until 7 or plus 1, so I, I'm free. Oh I don't have to God. do anything. Dude, people are gonna people in chat are gonna Is that an L an L in the background? <laughs> <laughs> true. The child has an L. Absolute brain. true. <laughs> He's off burst right now. He's crying. Yeah. When his burst is up, I'll stop. <laughs> Dude, you know what's even more infuriating about Nightlord? What if you fuck up your burst? Then what? Oh, yeah, I've had that happen a couple of times. You pop it, they're like, domain's up, domain's up. And then you pop your burst and you're waiting for it so you can hit last resort and AB link and yep. roar. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to bind in like 30 seconds. I'm like, fuck, you know what? I'm logging off. I'll see yep. you guys tomorrow. Yep, literally. <laughs> this is why I can't wait for Nova bind. I'm just going to solo everything. The, yeah, Nova I don't bind need does domain. make your life like... A million times easier so that is really like a big w for nightlord yeah so honestly yeah just i think you should try things out post destiny before you fully make the commitment of like okay i want full nightlord like at least try it out because you never know what you'll like because full destiny like they're changing the classes a lot so uh so for the liberation steps do i have to if let's say i get to like step two step three into it as Night Lord, do I have to restart the entire thing as Shadower if I do decide to go Shadower? Yes. You have to drop Damn. your claw and it's doomed. Doomed. Okay. Oh, another reason I say Night Lord is the sunk cost fallacy. Fuck doing arcane dailies. What do you mean? Um, To create a new character, having to do all the arcane dailies all over again. No, I mean switch to this one. Do a drop switch... Now I have to do the whole entire Sweetwater Qatar, uh, not Sweetwater, the whole demo shield and the weapon. And That's true. The I have to fix my well, secondary has IED, so it doesn't matter anyway because that's going to shield. But having to restart force all or restart force repotential all of that at my casual ass doesn't seem very enticing. I mean, yeah. No, you have a good point. There is, like, a a cost. It is going to, you know, that that's a very good point. So, if you're not down for that, then it is what it is. But but if we're just thinking long term, it's not that expensive. It's really <laughs> not. Long term, it's probably not. But Because you your also weapon and secondary like... are legit only, like, two line. Yeah. Hopium two line. All stat, dude. Yeah, it's legit only two line 17 star, and then your secondary is only two line. So it's like, not that big of a deal. Like, it's whatever. What? It's not like they're like three line 22 stars. Yeah. So. At this rate, I'd have to buy a arcane weapon or arcane dagger. You this probably would. Character, yeah. This character after running for like a year and a half, two years of Lucid Will, has never seen an arcane drop. Not a single time has it ever seen an arcane drop. I've seen more pitch boss items than I've seen arcane. Yeah, I wish I had your problem. <laughs> yeah. Boohoo. Uh, yeah, I know. First world problems. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Doesn't doesn't really matter. <laughs> also, you're like you're like crazy lucky and starring, so... Yeah. You don't even need the drops. Don't even need the drops. So when are you doing BM? In an hour, you said? Or less than an hour now? Uh, half an hour from now. Okay. You guys can one burst P1 for sure this time or no? Uh, if So our biggest issue is our Kana doesn't group bind. Fuck. Um, either white or black always just like fucks off and it scuffs the entire bind. I don't Noob know Kana. what they're doing or yeah. Well, again, Kana's first time like me. And so when we get into chat, there's us six that are playing 
And then there's like four different mentors that are like calling stuff out, like calling out FMA timers and stuff like that. But they they bring so much chaos to it at the same time. But so the con is trying to learn how to bind. Um, last night he called bind when neither of them were bound. Half people died to um, white dashing or got a curse death from white dashing. Um, I wasn't able to show down in time. But anyway, it, the last couple, the last two times, just dirty binds. We weren't able to get them close, so not a lot of group damage. I'm sure we can one burst it when things get cleaned up, but until then, we do burst bind and then we do two minute bind and we're out of P1. Wait, what's your comp? Uh, oh shit. Dawn Warrior, Hayato. Who's the Hayato? Uh, what's his name? Jinso uh Jinsoku? Jinsoku? Oh okay. Interesting. Uh he does like 120 bill per second on his three minute full BA. But okay. Everybody else is like sixty bill. I'm sitting at ninety. So we're like it's not the highest DPS, but we we make do. Everybody's learning. I like I I'm okay with our progress. We died out early P2 on Monday and early P3 yesterday. So if we can get healthier lives going into P3, we might be able to see more than five minutes into P3. Mm -hmm. Losing 12 lives in 10 minutes pisses me off mentally, but, you know. <laughs> nice. That Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot. Uh, it's not necessarily HP deaths, but the curse and HP deaths are what get me. Those are fun. Um. Okay, so HP death is gonna be kind of rough, obviously, because like whenever you pop last resort, you're just fucked. And you also Especially don't. Especially when change. Also, you have a kana. Like your kana should just, could just heal you guys. Like what? So. Um. um they have tree. I. I don't know if they're keeping Tree on cooldown or waiting for somebody to keep or to call out Tree for him to use it, but... I mean, he could just look at the party HP and be like, oh, I should press Tree. I would imagine so, but I'm going to assume he's also panicking and trying to... not looking at anything. No eyes. Okay, okay, yeah. I trying think to survive. Yeah, you'll be fine. Once you party gets the better hands. Yeah. I enjoy BM. I wish I can do the boss for more than 10 minutes a day. I hate this daily lockout thing. Dude, tell I, me I hate about the key it. system too, but the daily lockout gets to me the more. It's okay. Practice mode soon. No worries. Oh, it's so far away. Especially with what we're wanting to do right now. Yep. Just waiting an entire month from now. Yeah, no. It's a minute away, but. Again, you got to think long term. It's pretty close. Yeah. Like for me, for example, I've been doing BM for like fucking over a year and a half. And like, I wish I had practice mode. So practice mode, like honestly, all we would be losing is just May liberation, right? If we yep. do practice mode for June, mm -hmm. mid June, and then we go in there and just go for the throat. And we yeah, we only lose a month. So honestly, we don't lose much just waiting. Yeah, you really don't. Like, it's nice if you guys clear in May. Of course, it's a month ahead. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. So Yeah, I can understand that. I'm just impatient. Yeah. No, I mean, I'd feel the same way, to be honest. If somebody told me the same thing back then, like, no, no, I want to clear ASAP. But, yeah, it's no biggie. You still have so many <laughs> other things to do. Besides, like, just worry about your Jenny. It'd be, like, a lot of gear to upgrade, boss yeah. moves to make, money to make. Oh, um, speaking of boss meals, I asked this to another friend, and I'll, I guess I'll ask you, too. What's a com comfortable arcane force level? Um, all you really need... Especially if you're only sitting at 220, I guess, because that's only, what is it, Latchelin? So you're sitting yeah. at three symbols? 
Um, if you get it like their their three sixty is pretty good. That's like all you really need. Three sixty and then you don't even need that back. much, but like three sixty is a pretty good spot to be at. Yeah. Uh, three sixty twenty k stat is that two line everything? Yeah, that's like two line everything, and then you need even like maybe some unique two lines as well. Like you'll hit around twenty, with like sixteen star, seventeen star. Uh, what do you mean by two unique two lines? Like let's say you get like unique as you're tearing up and it's like nine nine like you could just keep that oh or so you're like talking nine, like keeping it epic no like unique potential not right epic. but like unique if by chance but epic by default no no no, no. you want your gear to be legendary ideally but let's oh, say okay. as you're tearing up like you hit like a really good unique pot you could just keep that okay okay yeah thinking the other way around then okay uh, then I should have I should have spent quite a bit on the, the cube cell. Cube cell honestly, yeah. I I decided I was going to focus more on Nightlord. I wanted to finish at least starring, save for shining. I mean that's and fine. then I'll worry about boss meals. But that's fine. That's not like a bad idea. It's fine. It's a hard save you, for the Nightlord. Do you recommend cube cells over DMT for boss meals or DMT over cube cells? Uh, I would rather tear up on DMT and that's it. Just tear up and then yeah. call it good? Yeah, so that's okay. what I did on my boss meals because my boss meals were like in progress for like very, very long time. So they went through like a couple DMTs and by the time the cubes, by the time I was ready to cube on them, all their gear was like already legendary and all I had to do was just like roll the line so okay but even if you don't do it on dmt like uh someone in chat just mentioned like the tier ups in gms like they're really high regardless so even if you do it on a cube sale like you're gonna hit it's gonna go legendary for sure okay um uh abso gear baseline or is cra necro yeah Probably Abso, so... right? If you can, I would get Apsos because it is a pretty big damage boost, but you don't need the Apsos. So, like, in this Discord, in the FAQ channel, in the pins, mm -hmm. there's, like, a video of somebody who has, like, 12-star gear and, like, is a pretty good boss meal. So, like, you could follow that if you want to be, like, really budget. But the mo but for me, Percy, I would get the set effects. I would get, like, C CRA set effect. I would get the Apsos. I would get the Golux, like... For me, I got superior Golux on all of them, but you don't have to do that. You could just settle on, like, reinforce, and it's, like, perfectly fine. Okay. The only issue for me is I I don't trade carries. I don't... I Well, I in the past, I haven't traded carries. I don't ask for carries either, really. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, trying to get the boss droplets for Abso is going to be a pain in the ass. Unless I can somehow trade with somebody. Yep, it definitely will Or... Will oh, Pog, I transposed. That, that was my biggest detriment was... Or nice. Mind to block, I guess, is... Do I need Abso? How much of a, how much am I going to cry trying to get it? Plus, how many weeklies am I going to have to do? I mean, it's annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, it's annoying. Like, um... For example... Uh, my weeklies, like, they were, like, a very, very long project on my account. Like, Helix legit is, like, two months per character at least. Like, no joke. Yeah. So, and then all the apps was, like, the only reason I was really able to um, get it is because, you know, you just have, like, end game connections. People could just carry you. But, like, it's hard. It is hard. It does take a while. So, alternatively instead of making many boss mules, something you could do is make another, like copy paste your Night Lord, like make another character that strong. And then that's about equal to like six baby boss mules. So you could do that as well. So you don't have to do as many dailies per character, which is another option. Like it's not a bad idea, but that would take longer to get the ball rolling than the right. others. That seems very overwhelming. Like I said, I played very casual. I've played this game for like three years and just on and off and I'm barely 270. Meanwhile, I watch people that play for six months and hit 275 and 
farther progressed than I am. Yep. So it feels slow to me, but I, I, I don't know. The super boss meal sounds more enticing than five other boss meals at this point, but I guess I'll have to think about that for a minute. Yeah. I mean, either option is fine. It's just going to take a while. There's, there's no yeah. shortcut. Like, either option, you're just going to look at months of work, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about how much I played versus my progression. It's just... I, I progress at the rate I want to progress, and I know it's time commitment. I watch people do, like, 20 WAPs a week, and I only <laughs> do five. Bro, I, I think I do, like... Fucking thirty laps a week or more. <laughs> like I don't know how you can do it. <laughs> I used to be able to struggle doing just a totem, just a totem period, doing two hours of sitting down in maple, and it's gotten to the point I can do four. But after four, I just I get so tired. I want to nap. Like yeah. I hate it. But yeah. Dude. It it it's a mental gymnastic for me to sit down and be like, I'm gonna sit here and actively farm for two hours like i'll sit there for like an hour and be like all right i'm gonna build up the mentality now i want to farm okay now i'm gonna farm and it takes three hours for that entire session for what should have just taken two i it's so silly but <laughs> dude you have to get your wife to farm for you uh she tried playing early on when i first started playing and she hated it um dude just like give her an ultimatum grinder. or something tell her like <laughs> you, like hold the kid hostage until she farms or something uh, I, I respect her too much for that <laughs> i'll be honest i don't want her to go through my misery <laughs> dude what she, are you married for that if she can't like i could be miserable with you yo so okay we met online on a mmo we or quote unquote long distance on an MMO. Yeah. Uh, had a long distance relationship for a year. A lot quote unquote because we we're six hours away. But she's a gamer too. She does fourteen raids with me. We we hang out. We play video games all the time together. Mm -hmm. So she understands my addiction and she understands, um, like why I do what I do. But I will if she doesn't want to play this dumbass game. I'm not gonna force her. <laughs> It's purely nostalgia addiction on why I still play this. So, oh, I gotcha. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I guess the kid is the only other option. When she the grows kid's up the option. More. Yeah. We're three years into that investment. Maybe another four, and she can get optimal <laughs> rates. Uh, I think another two, and she could do it. Another two, you think? Yeah. I don't know. Loot rotations. That Dude, might be a little fat. scuffy. Backpet, you're right. Backpet, she doesn't even know <laughs> how to do anything. Just press the arrow keys and move. Here, push this key every 30 seconds and just move around the map. Easy, let's do it. You're saying look at pop, but it looks like it's... Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Fucking Was that 27 decks? Easiest fucking stat in the game, bro. As Shadower? That's worthless, dude. Yeah, but like, <laughs> that's the point. Like, fucking dex is so easy. Dex and strength are so easy. Nah, not strength, not strength. But dex, dex, yeah, for sure. Dex is free. Yeah. Okay, strength was easy before the entire fiasco happened. Then it turned into dex. Now nah, it's dex nah, is free. No, 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 no. Strength is always hard in all points of this game. Even before uh -huh. the fiasco, it was still hard. People just... Nexon was lying. <laughs> they just needed, like, an out. Oh.
Damn, bro. So what are you going to tell your BM party now? Do they know you're here? No. This oh, is shit. purely out of... Okay. Oh, my. 27 int now. Int is free. Yep. Dex and int. <laughs> yep. Notice how I haven't seen strength or luck yet. How how many cubes was that between the two? Fucking nothing. Like nothing. Ten or something. Perfect. Um, no, they don't know. This was purely for myself. <laughs> Are you gonna tell them? They're gonna be like, "Oh my god." No. I, dude, if they ask, sure. If they bring it up, sure. But dude, tell your Connor to stop trolling you guys. It's so it's not hard at all to get a quick <laughs> to get a quick bind. Like tell them like to wake up. I'll wait until next week. If he doesn't get it, then if he's still, if his nerves are still getting the better of him, then I might say something, but I'll play nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> the only one I might tell is, so there's an Evan that's in XL. I'll probably link her this and then she Dow? can shit talk me more. Yeah. <laughs> Dow's going to shit talk you? She shit talks me every day. Every interaction we have, she shit talks me. Didn't She's know, uh, one of my Dao BM mentors. This, uh, didn't know Dao had this like demon inside of her. <laughs> she seems so nice in Excel chat. Oh, she's nice. She's wonderful. <laughs> she taught me. She, uh, she, she was my Kana duo for uh, Vihela. She taught me normal Lucid all the way up to Vihela. But. Yeah. <laughs> she's wonderful nice yeah I'm, I'm not sure what else to tell you I think you know what you're doing uh, also switch yeah, to I shad got... yeah switch to shad I'm, I'm gonna Perfect. say it again yeah switch to shad night lord is not it bro <laughs> it's not but what happens if i hate shad and then like halfway through liberation i'm like you know what fuck it i'm going back to night lord let's restart again uh no nah, that's not gonna happen not gonna <laughs> happen no nah, nah, that's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen <laughs> i honestly i kind of want to shad an entirely new character i know that's gonna require me to do oz all over again I cheated Oz, I won't lie. How did you um, cheat? The fuck? I, uh, if, do you want to do a prediction on it? The point count? Well, but how did you I cheat? Cheated. You just like got super lucky or you cheated? Uh, yeah, very lucky. All right. Okay, let's do two predictions. We'll do one for your Oz points. Okay. And then we'll do one for your Star Force. Okay. Um, I'll I'll talk about Oz after we do. Okay, we'll give him thirty um, seconds. That entire fiasco, but I was I was doing Oz five hours a day, like I was hard pushing Oz. I would do my totems and then or train every day and then hard push Oz. I was going until like two a.m. three a.m. every day just to make sure I did Oz. Um. Every day that I missed a run of Oz, I would internally freak out. Because that's one day, or that's one day more I had to do it. That wasn't fun. Holy shit. Yeah. 24 times 3 minus 15. Or, uh... What is that? 70, 72... 58? 60 yeah. 57. Uh, 58, 57. 57. 57 cubes, and you saw 27, 27, 33. Yeah, 57 cubes, and it took me, and I got three-line luck. Easy peasy. What did you say it was to get 33 pot? Okay, like 20 bill? Yeah. I'm going to say you're a liar right now. I just watched you do that in 58 cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating, dude. You call me lucky. <sighs> Guys, you guys don't get it, okay? Shut up. I'm, I deserve to be lucky. My Hayato struggled more than any of you guys could ever imagine in your, in your entire lives, okay? I deserve to be lucky. Whatever lets you sleep at night, dude. <laughs> so... 
Sorry, my BL is exploding at me. Call me lucky. I'm sure. It well, looks like chat's exploding at you too. <laughs> Dude, they don't get it. They don't get it. They're all <laughs> they're all like 100 bill cost full 22. Like they don't get it. They they can't even look in the mirror. You look like a red cube. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my light switch is across the room, and I'm, like, too lazy to get up and fucking flick the switch. Fuck it, I'm gonna get it. Red cube chili eater, perfect. Okay, I've returned. Welcome back. Thank you. Did the uh, protection end? Oh, yeah, 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 let's see it. Yeah. Uh, Oz first, right? Yeah. So you gotta go to... Uh... Adventure, Adventure? Then quest. No special, special. My bad. Um, it's like at the bottom. the bottom. Yeah. Tower of Oz. Am I going too far? Oh, here's points. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're lucky, but I expected you were gonna be like way luckier. Um, I've only seen two Oz Oz's drop a period. It was a roar two. And then a, a roar four right up, uh, at that point. Yeah, I mean, you're lucky. But I was expecting, like, super lucky. All right, I'm going to make for, a prediction for your Star Force cost. So I felt like I was lucky because I only saw two roars. And I hear people like, well, it took me, like, 20 roars. It took me, like, 15 roars to be able to see a roar four. I guess I saw it on my second one. But the distance between the two roars were, I felt a lot. Do you know your uh, Star Force cost off the top of your head? Yes. Okay, you want to DM me it so I can make the prediction close? Let me let me change the prediction. Um, I think I actually have... Give me one second. Okay. It might have gone up a little bit uh, since then because of the just trying to 17 the Zerk, but. I swear, I've gotten better luck off event than I have on event. You can call me trolling if you want, but... I mean, that is trolling, but, like... I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. So, cause they're <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. That's the bet. Reading Twitch chat is actually pretty fun when you can interact for, uh, via voice. Yeah. All right, let's see your cost. Oh, uh, shit. That was item, item boost. boost. Near the bottom again, I assume. 354. Oh, my God. 354. Uh, that was 200 bill from 260 to 270. 200 Honestly, bill, 260 to 270. Spent 70% of it. Honestly, like... You're not that crazy lucky. You're really not. Hmm? You're really not that Booming crazy Booming-wise, I feel like I'm lucky, but... Like, you still Meso have spent. a lot of stars to get. Like, that's a lot of money you're still gonna need. Like, apparently, yeah. nowadays, it's, like, 500 bill, you're done. So, like, you're approaching that. Yeah. Like, I've only had 33 booms. So. That's pretty lucky, boom-wise. You've only boomed 33 times, so. Um, Out of all the 22s that I've done, 
that I can remember. I've only boomed two arcanes. I have uh, one slime ring and that's it that I can count. Um, I don't remember what CRA was. That was forever ago. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. My, I feel like I have above average destruction or below average destruction rate. It's going to catch up to me because I'm trying to do arcanes now. Yeah. So it's going to be expensive and boom a lot. Yeah, you never know. You might. You might boom all your shit for the rest of your life, but we'll see. Five hundred bill to finish. Is that five hundred bill for all twenty twos? Yeah. Like including your arcanes, and this is assuming on event too. Oh, all right. All right, well, you I'll got, keep my fingers you got, crossed. Uh, you got BM soon, right? Yeah, in 10 minutes. So I, I'll drop out. I won't hold you any longer. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, I'll keep watching. Thank uh, you, you've been a most recent watch. I think I've only been following for like a week, but it's been very entertaining. <laughs> the thank account you, reviews are definitely content. It's given a lot of perspective. So thank you for doing these at not certain somebody else's prices so, <laughs> name <laughs> drop him bro name drop i i didn't name drop i didn't say anything name drop him dude name drop him that's it <laughs> it's okay uh, let's see follow age oh i guess a month no a month's still short though okay but yeah anyway all right buddy i hope i helped you out and uh good Definitely. luck in bm thank you um, if uh, I'll probably have to accrue points again, but I'd be more than happy to have you shit talk me on what I was doing wrong in BM. Sure. Um. Oh yeah, I don't know if you heard, but I'm the number one night lord in the whole world. So I hear you're the number one of every class in the entire world. So yeah, except Nightwalker yeah. and uh, uh, Wild Hunter, but yeah. Except for <laughs> wait, who's number one Nightwalker? I don't know. It's not me. <laughs> Perfect. Probably All irrelevant right. because Nightwalker is just bad class, so. Yeah. Let's hope they don't have to do their stupid sticky key things for uh, revamp. No, nah, let's hope they keep having to do it just so they can keep suffering. Dude, they get free door. They should have to sticky keys, actually. True. But all right, you have a fun rest of your day. Thank you for streaming and thank you for this. Yeah, you too, it's buddy. Definitely giving me a good direction. Mm hmm. Take it easy, man. All right. Good night. Good night. Time to do H Lotus. Phil, you want to watch? Yeah. Okay. Dude, Matan, get in the VC. Going to office tomorrow. I'm trying to like. I've been like thinking about like. I'm. I've been trying to come out with excuses in hospital since reset. Wait, what? We have uh, we have team happy hour tomorrow, so we're, I'm supposed to go into office tomorrow, but I don't want to go. Oh, so I'm trying to articulate my excuse right.